Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of In the Pro Shop and I'm Daniel and you might notice a little bit of a location change from the previous episodes and that is because I am back home in Texas. So I'm here at Q&Q Pro Shop inside Whitewood Lanes. Uh, this is where I grew up, this is where I learned how to drill bowling balls on that drill press right there. Pretty crazy stuff. And uh, for the topic of today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to properly loft the bowling ball whenever you're bowling. So the reason for this is usually whenever uh, you need to get really far left um, or whenever the front part of the lane, known as the heads, which is about the first 15 feet or so of oil, are completely gone and it's completely disappeared, it's burnt up, it's at the very end of the day, and once again, that's usually whenever you're pretty far left. And speaking of which, uh, you're gonna see me throw a shot of being in front of the ball return today in today's video, especially whenever we see patterns um, such as whenever the US Open for the PBA used to be like a three squad tournament and there was a double burn squad each day, then there of course is gonna be reason if you're right-handed to loft the ball. And so uh, leaning on further at a lot of college tournaments that I bowl in and that my team bowls in at Ottawa University, uh, we certainly need loft because whenever we get super far left and the, the heads are burnt, uh, which is once again the fir first uh, 15 feet of the lane or so, then uh, that oil is gone and we need to get it past that to the fresh oil or else if we don't, then our ball is going to check and basically go to the left. I mean, uh, it's gonna do that every time since we're right-handed and it's going to probably hit the seven pin or the four seven in the face. And that's not a good thing, obviously. We wanna keep it uh, right of the head pin or the one pin and keep it in the one three pocket. And so to accomplish that, lofting is a great and useful tool. And I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, how to properly do that and use your legs because you don't wanna use your upper body or your torso whenever you are lofting the ball. You don't wanna use it very much because you wanna keep that s steady and simple. And you don't want any movement here because not only will that hurt your back and possibly tweak it, uh, but also you don't want to have any force. Because if you're forcing the ball, then that causes uh, the ball to miss your target. So if you're looking at 25, for example, which is the fifth arrow, and you want to hit 25 consistently, then not only should you check out my previous video with AJ Johnson, a PBA bowler, uh, linked in the top of your screen now, but also you want to keep that uh, upper body steady and uh, have as little movement as possible with the upper body. All you want is for your uh, shoulder joint here to move forward and back, straight forward and straight back, or as straight as possible. And uh, you want your legs to do the work. You really want to explode with the legs up and post your shot, which I also did an episode on balance that you should check out here. And you don't want to have a lot of movement, especially not left and right. You don't want any left and right movement with these shoulders or upper body. So guys, catch me on the lanes and I'm going to show you guys what proper loft looks like when bowling. Here we go. Hey everybody, so welcome to today's video. And as I said earlier, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about properly lofting the ball and how to do that. So one important part that I'm gonna be showing is using my legs instead of my upper body to loft the ball. And whenever I do this, I want to achieve this uh, by staying low and posting my shot. I'm here at Whitewood Lanes, as you can see, in my hometown of Lubbock, Texas. I'm really happy to be back for the break, and I'm gonna be showing you guys about lofting, as I said. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my pre-shot routine, and then we'll see how it goes from there. All right, guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing the all-new Hammer Black Widow 2.0. Be sure to get yours at Fusion Alley Pro Shop in Ottawa, Kansas, next time you're in town. So I'm gonna run through my pre-shot routine. Just kind of take care of this real quick, and once I do, I'm going to be using a three-step approach in front of the ball return here, uh, and see how it goes. Be sure to pay attention to my lower body and what the, my legs do during this approach and whenever I post my shot, as it's important that my torso and upper body don't have any movement, but rather you want the legs to generate the power you need to loft it properly. So, as far as that goes for lofting, that's exactly how you want to accomplish that. You want to be sure to have those legs be your power generators, and you want your torso to be nice and steady, 
without a lot of movement because that's important whenever you're bowling so you don't tweak anything with your back and so you don't have any of that movement so you don't send it too far right and so you don't pull it too far left at all either. So thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit subscribe below, hit like, and leave a comment with any suggestions for future videos that you have. I hope that you all enjoyed this series. Unfortunately, this is going to be the last episode that I put out of the In The Pro Shop series, but it's been an amazing time growing my channel a ton over the last uh, 12 weeks. So thank you so much for that, guys, and have a great day.